Hello guys, what's going on? It's the Lemon King back here for another Minecraft adventure series. And today we are starting the Archaic series. And the first episode of the Archaic series is The Secrets of Silas Morrow. So this is a 1.8 map and it's a trilogy map that will be like an adventure type of theme where you have to go and uh, adventure through the land of the unwanted and solve the secrets and awaken things and fun stuff. But I don't want to spoil all of it so we're going to have to find out for ourselves but the link will be down below in the description and you can go check out this map for yourself. It is 1.8 map so we're going to begin and it looks like we have some armor, boats, food, a clue, arcade for this, intro, and some maps. Let's, let's get down our bar. Bottle of regeneration. Okay. So, archaic intro. Alright, so, you are on a distant world of archaic. The area you are in of this distant world is called the land of the unwanted. Many people come here because they feel lonely, helpless, and or forgotten. No matter the, what the situation anyone is in, there has been one person constantly tormenting the minds of those who come here, Silas Morrow. Supposedly, he knows things that could help or destroy the world. Figure out what exactly happened to Silas. He is the key to figuring out the ultimate secret of this land. Presets. Play on normal mode. Do not break blocks. Placing is okay. Play in survival mode. Game should set it. Use any resource act you like. Have fun. Objectives. Gold objectives are mandatory to complete. You will end up doing them. Silver objectives are optional but recommended that you complete anyways. If you complete all of the objectives, then you have 100% completed the map. Clues. You get one starting clue here at spawn. You can get other clues by stepping on gold pressure plates or by looting chests. Extra. Remember this is a trilogy, so many, so all questions may not be answered. If you make an LP or have any questions, let me know in the forums or minecraftmaps.com. Creator is Josh underscore 98765. Thank you to everyone who has helped make this map possible, and then there's links for you guys to go check out if you wish. And we have the first clue. Kaleum is the weakest of the gods. She cannot complete her task. She has enlisted his help. Even if he has failed. Alright, so it looks like this is the spawn map. Looks like. So we're at spawn here. So we're just going to keep these just in case. Green arrows where you are. Oh, so this is basically all stuff. So we're here, and this is the land. So we're gonna put inner chest presets and put the intro on there. We'll keep the other stuff. And it looks like we are ready to hop in. Step on pressure plates like this so you can get valuable information about the area you are in. Your game mode has been updated. Alright. So I'm just gonna assume we're going to set sail on to this day, even though it's turning nighttime and I hope the mobs are off. If they're not, well, I guess we're gonna be using the starter sword because we took forever to get through this. Okay. Right, so we're gonna slowly dock our boat. We never know what we're gonna need. It's like there's a little outlet here. Someone set up shop here. Got some meats. Over here we got these two books. Fishing rod. So I don't know. We might want to keep the clue on us here. All right. So what do we got? We got Haggis brother. I am Haggis brother. I am on this land because I must know the secrets. The only one I know of is behind is 
No, the only one I know of is the treasure behind the waterfall. I don't need it. Someone else should take it. Lero, the god of the earth, seems to be the only god who pays my pays any attention to me. Maybe it's because I'm after the secrets. Is Lyro behind all of them? He has gifted me with items, but I think it's all to distract me from my one single task to know the ultimate secret of this land. My time is running out here in this world. I need to work fast unless the gods stop me. Alright, so it said there was a thing behind the waterfall. Lyro is just being a pain at times. He seems to be focused on something, keeping something a secret. Does he think I am a threat? Is Lyro behind the secrets of this land? So it's behind the waterfall. There was... something. Alright, so I guess we're going to be spending our night out here. We don't have a crafting table to use this diamond blocks or redstone, but we can use the sharpness 10 Jesus uh, thing. And uh, yeah, we got a fishing rod of gifted fishing rod. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the gift of fishing. I mean, it has lore on it, so it's going to be used for catching something. Don't know what. Going to catch a crafting table by any chance. I know. Yep. Uh, I don't see the purpose of this, so we're just going to hit the hay for tonight and uh, continue on our journeys. found Lyro's treasure in the objectives list. So I, I'm assuming that we have to complete all the objectives on the list to the right. That's what it's looking like. Is there anything up here on the mountain? It's, 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 that's something interesting. explored to? Not sure. Alter Peak. This mountain was once an active volcano. Those times are now over. This peak was used as a sacrificial spot for many of the souls who reside on this land. Harshwind Bay. You will not want to be caught in or around the bay in a storm. The wind and rain pelts with such force that you cannot stay here. If anyone lives here, they must be driven by some want or need. Yeah, I really don't know if I have to like explore over on that side. The maps didn't really point over there. It's the world borders over there. So we'll just assume not. Danger Bay. The bay is near a very sketchy swamp, so it was named Danger Bay. Sketchy swamp, man. Intense, intense stuff here. Got a world border. Let's check and make sure we got everything that we can find. Uh, we'll go back up to that cave that looked like was at the top of the hill. Uh, there's a skeleton head, which, you know, obviously not good. Swamp of Whispers. This area is riddled with skeletons. Take extreme caution. Not many venture here, and those who do don't usually return. Alright, so I saw the thing up here in the mountain before I venture into the swampy domain. 
What the heck is this clue? Why does Calcum not want to go into the swamp? She's saying he's, she senses death. Well, my clue is a untextured block. Well, that's always um, got problems here. Uh, I don't know what the clue is supposed to be, but it's an untextured block. And, uh, yep, there's uh, no stuff. Alright, so let's go check out this over here. Crater impact. This seems to be where the space object smashed into archaic. As far as everyone knows, the space object does not seem to be a threat. Huh. Okay, so space object. Note itself, space object. Space object. To infinity and beyond. This is some. Land here. I wonder if there's something in the swamp. I feel like there would be something here because. Mm hmm. So. Uh, Quite dark. I do say so myself. And uh, yeah, do I even need to be down here? I don't think I need to be down here. I don't think I have a purpose to this task. I mean, if, if there was a purpose, I'd assume that there would be light. But, um. There's the light. I can't see what I'm doing. Going out. There's nothing else here. Oh, hello. Hello there. Martha's grave. It seems as if her grave was dug up at some point in time. Five axe. Right, clue. Why was this grave dug up? What would someone need from this grave? Why was she buried here? A block of redstone? Dun dun dun. Ba -da -da -da, ba -da -da. For all of our clues. In there, because I don't know what we need. Well then. See something up here in the hill. Is there a key or some sorts? So the big thing is we have to get them the gold quests, no matter what. Seems to be the key. So we found an abandoned cave. Yeah.